<laughs> Good morning, everybody. Oh, it's chilly. I sure am glad I got out of the woods last night. The winds were whipping. It was super cold. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm happy with my decision. And just got dropped back off at Will Scott Gap from that campground. They dropped me back off. And I'm not going to go that far today. <laughs> I overdid it yesterday. Trying to get out of the wind. I kept maybe around this next corner, you know, maybe around this next corner. But every corner was windy and cold. So <laughs> I did what needed to be done. And yeah, I really don't know how far I'm going to go today. I know I'm going to. There is a diner somewhere like 11 miles and there's a campsite at 14. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I don't want to do another 20. Not yet. My body's not ready for it. All right, we're climbing. So I can't breathe because I don't have my second wind. But I hope you guys have a great, great day. And I'll touch back with the cool stuff. I'm gonna use, you know. Oh. Rookie. Just like I do, baby. All right, I just realized something. It's kind of par for the course. <laughs> I left my sunglasses at that campground. Oh well, they were all scratched up anyways and it's time for a new pair. But there's this gas station or cafe place up here, about six more miles. And they got sunglasses, I'm just gonna pick me up a cheap pair and rock those. I have a problem with sunglasses on trail. Well, 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 you can't even get up in that tower. Steps are missing right here. <sighs> That's quite a shame too, because that climb was pretty tough to not be able to go up in a fire tower. When I saw there was a tower, I'm like, oh yeah. We'll get some good views up there, but can't get up there. All right, now we're gonna drop down quite a ways because we're way up here. Drop down to that cafe, get some food. There's a cafe and then there's a general store right after that. <sighs> what a tough climb. <laughs> All right. Back on the Benton Mackay. Tiny little road walk. Shallow Fort Bridge. 4.5. All right, let's get it. Mmm. Garland Gap. Got a little bit of camping here, too. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to leave you guys hanging about my foot. Foot feels great. Uh, but my back of my knee is a little twingy. It's not bad. I've had this pain before, it's just I overdid it. So I'm gonna have to take it easy for a couple days. Yeah, you're gonna have pains out here, that's for sure. This is familiar pains, I've had these pains before. The foot one's a little irritating, but the knee one, I just block it out, it goes away, it's nothing serious. Just a little overuse. So we'll take care of that, we must slow down. We'll slow our roll. easy. Nice little change of scenery. That's where we came from. This nice little pine forest. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of tired today. 
I way overdid it yesterday. My knee's feeling better though, that's good. I'm just, got no energy. Like not hiking for six months and then going to do a, a 20. The fully loaded pack is kind of stupid. <laughs> I don't know, it's hilarious. You live and you learn sometimes more than once on the same thing. <laughs> All right, I think we're like a mile and a half, two miles from that uh, that bridge and that store and that food. Mm, I think that's what I need is some really good food. I've been eating stuff out of my pack, but I'm kind of sick of that stuff. I'm gonna have to switch it up a little bit at the store. Grab some different things for resupply. I went to my go-tos and my go-tos uh, kind of burn out on. What's this? Caution, logging operations in this vicinity. Please stand trail for next mile. No problem. Check this out. Super cool. And they just bring out their tarp and stay out there. <laughs> My aunt and uncle have a teepee, like a real teepee, canvas teepee. That's super cool. All right, made it down off the mountain. We came out right here. And now we got a four mile road walk. No camping for four miles. But that restaurant's right up here, so. Iron Bridge. And it's Iron Bridge a General Store and Restaurant. That's where I'm going. Looks like they're building a new bridge. All right, restaurant's right over here. I'm going to get some food. And I guess it's more than four miles road walk. It's four, then you go into the woods a little bit, then go back out, more road walk. So let's we'll see what happens. Can't camp in those road walk areas, so we'll get a plan. First, some food. This is my kind of place. America, baby. All right. All filled up on pizza and root beer. And now we're gonna get this road walk over with. It's four miles and then we go in the woods for a bit. There is some camp spots in there. And then if I don't choose those, I'm gonna have to go down another road walk. We'll see. Still pretty early, but I definitely want to take it easy. Off the road. Check it out, there's all these glamping tents. They're really nice, actually. There's a bunch of them. And they're right by the waterfall. How crazy. Yeah, it looks like the woods is on fire. Oh, I hope not. That'd be a weird thing to encounter. A 
forest fire and it looks like I'm walking towards it. And it's just filled with smoke. Oh, pick up your feet, Gray. I wonder why they call it Rocky Mountain. It's pretty much the top, a bunch of rocks. All right. So I'm about 1.7 miles away from um, a potential campsite. <laughs> and there's water right before it too, so. Yeah, I'm gonna try to stop there because that general store didn't have much for these. I mean, I could have made it work, but I wouldn't have been liking anything and eating. So tomorrow, looks like I'm gonna go into Blue Ridge, resupply, and uh, make a plan. <laughs> I know I don't have enough food to get me to the next spot to resupply 45 miles away. So I gotta do something. 45 miles away from where I stop tomorrow. Yeah. I'm gonna go down to the spring and get my water for the campsite, which is just right around the corner too. So yeah, let's get some water, find a stealth site somewhere, and have a good night, I guess. <laughs> and what else is there to it? Alrighty guys, end of the day recap, day three, we left Will Scott Gap. I don't know the miles, I don't have a piece of paper and pen on me this hike, uh, but we left Will Scott Gap and we're now sitting at Scoggin Knob. It's a 16.5 mile day and I feel really good now. I just don't think I drank enough water on top of that big day. Yeah, it was a train wreck, um, but other than that, I'm feeling good. And it looks like we're going into Blue Ridge tomorrow to resupply because I don't have enough food to get to the next resupply after that. Uh, the general store today didn't have, I mean, they had stuff I could choke down, but I don't want to be doing that. I want something I would enjoy to eat so so that I eat it. <laughs> because like I say, when you start hiking, you're not really hungry. But today was beautiful. A um, couple little tough climbs in there, but other than that, I mean, it's hiking up, down, up, down, up, down. Yeah. And I don't know what time I'm going to get up tomorrow. I got four miles to the road uh, to get me into Blue Ridge. So I think it's a big rush. I'll probably get up. It's supposed to be low at 30 tonight. So I might let the sun come up and have my coffee and my hammock and just mosey around in the morning. But other than that, that's a wrap. Day three, 16.5 miles. And I hope you guys had a great, great day. And I'll touch back with you guys in the morning, baby.